Hey, what's up you guys? It's Scott with Everyday Home Repairs and today I'm going to show you how to install and more importantly, I will test out the charging speed on a Leviton 5635 integrated USB-C outlet. Now the promise of USB outlets, they've been out forever. You've had the old USB-A's and USB-C's and then some combination of the two and then ones like this that have two USB-C built in. The idea is awesome, right? Because then you don't need some combination of adapters to connect up to your phone and charge it. You just need your cord, which go USB-C to whatever your phone takes. But the problem in the past has been these outlets have not been able to take advantage of the fast charging standards found on most popular phones today. Now there's a bunch of different standards out there. We'll talk a little bit about that, but the biggest question is, is this Leviton able to do that? Because we've done some testing in the past and the outlet did fall short. So let's go ahead and install. So let's go ahead, I'll quickly show you how to install this outlet, which is very easy and straightforward. And then we'll do the actual charge time test to know, is it worth spending about $40 is what this Leviton 5635 cost. And how does that compare to my adapter charge times, maybe another USB-C outlet like the Legrand that we tested a few weeks ago? How do those all compare? And am I getting anything for my money? But before doing the test, we'll do a quick little install on this outlet. So I'll give you a quick look at the Leviton 5635 prior to swapping out this Decora outlet back here. Overall, this is a very large outlet. You have single screw terminals, gold being your hot, silver being your neutral, and then you have a ground on your bottom. They do have built-in plates, so you'll be able to use back wiring if you'd like. That's what I usually use. And then separate strip gauge, one for back wiring here and one for side wiring down here. Now, if we did a comparison versus just a standard commercial duplex, side by side, you'll see the 5635 is quite a bit wider. A side profile, you'll see it's almost twice, if not a little bit more than twice, as deep. And then just looking from bottom. So you need room in your box to install this guy because it does take up a lot more space than your standard, whether it's Decora or if you're replacing a duplex. But now we'll jump in and I will install this one here and we'll see how fast it charges my iPhone 12. Before starting any electrical project, make sure the power is turned off, and I confirm that with the outlet tester. Once that's confirmed, you can take the face plate off and start to take the two screws out of the yoke for the outlet to remove it from the electrical box. One additional thing to note on this decor outlet is those unused screw terminals are still out. You should always tighten those up to reduce the chances of shorting. Now I'll loosen up all three screws for the hot, neutral, and ground, and then remove the wires from the old outlet. Once those are removed, then I'll take my strippers and I will straighten out the wires. And then compared to the strip gauge on the back, because I will be using back wiring, and then cut the copper to the appropriate length. Now I'll match Black, which is the hot wire to the gold screw terminal, putting it behind the plate to use back wiring and do the same for the neutral. Then I will need to put a J hook and make sure that is positioned rotating clockwise around that screw and then tightening down to make sure I get a secure hold on the ground. Once those are all tight, and I'll work the outlet back in the box, going back and forth, tightening top and bottom, and then also make sure that the plate is flush. The front of the, the outlet is flush with the drywall and that it's not crooked inside the box. So now the outlet is installed and we're ready to start our testing. Really what I'm looking for is how fast would my iPhone 12 Pro Max charge from 0% to 50% just plugging into the USB-C here, going into the lightning port on my phone. But let's set a baseline because we have a few other videos in the past that we did where we tested this to see what the charging rate was. The first video here was when I installed a Legrand wireless charger faceplate. So it had an outlet and 
extended faceplate where you had a wireless charger built in. Pretty cool, but the question was, and I actually didn't test this during the video, is how fast would that charge my phone? It turns out not very fast. So to get from 0% to 50% on my phone, the iPhone 12 Pro Max, it took 167 minutes, almost three hours. So super convenient, but super slow. And then just a little while back, I installed a Legrand USB-C outlet with two integrated ports, and it said six amps of output. But the question was, is that for one? Is that for both? And can this actually kick off what's called power delivery or PD or quick charge QC, which are the two main fast charging standards used by popular phones such as iPhone or Samsung. So that's really the key, is to get the fast charging capability out of something like the iPhone 12, you need to be able to basically send a signal from your phone to the port, whether that's on an outlet or it's an adapter, and indicate hey, I can accept more voltage and amperage to crank up to that fast charging level. So the first setup on that was just using old faithful little five watt adapter that everybody has with the USB-A going to lightning. Now this adapter was better than the wireless charger, but still took 84 minutes to go from 0% to 50%. Then I plugged directly into the USB-C on the Legrand outlet and that delivered better performance but still only 39 minutes to get from zero to 50 percent and then finally the last one we tested was the 20 watt adapter going from USB-C to lightning and this was the quickest that I've tested so far at 22 minutes so that was the best performance it's noticeably faster than all the other ones so the big question is what can this Leviton deliver I'm very curious to see if it can deliver similar performance to the 20 watt adapter. And let's test that now. And we'll use that same Klein USB multimeter, which is a cool little tool for things like this, where it will give us a voltage or amperage, and then more specifically, watt hours. Over the five minute trial, how many watt hours do we add to the battery? I'll also leave the faceplate off because I'll use an infrared thermometer to test and see if there's any heat generation coming from the outlet itself. So plugging this in, the voltage goes to 5 and current goes to 2.5 amps. But then we do see a reset and the voltage jumps to 9 and current goes to 2.5. That is encouraging and does indicate I believe that a signal came from the phone and the outlet was able to adjust to the appropriate fast charging settings. So we'll speed things up here and really I'm just taking into account how many watt hours are accumulated. Now overall looking at that temperature 77, 78 degrees Fahrenheit was the highest I got on the side housing. Nothing to be concerned about. So I'll run this through five minutes and then we'll convert watt hours to the amount of time to charge from zero to 50% on this iPhone 12. Well, that was impressive and actually the fastest charge time that I've measured thus far. So if I look at the box that the 5635 Leviton comes in, it says the available charging profiles, 15 volts at two amps, 9 volts at 3 amps or 5 volts at 3 amps. So it looks like we actually did get to trip that 9 volts at 3 amps. Now we didn't actually get all the way up to 3 amps, but it was pretty close. And overall, that delivered the most watt hours for the 5 minute trial that I've tested thus far. And then that equaled 19 minutes. So that would take 19 minutes to get from 0 to 50% charge, beating out everything else that I've tested so far. So for $40, this Leviton outlet could be worth it. Right now, this is installed in my basement just to do this video and test it out, but I'm actually gonna install this up on the kitchen counter where it's the most common place where we charge our phones. So if you kind of have that go-to where you're charging your phones, having an outlet such as this might be pretty handy. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Is this worth the $40? Were you surprised by the results? Or are there any other outlets out there that you think can do even more? From what I've seen, I would say this is the best outlet on the market with integrated USB-C. If I'm missing out on something you guys have seen or tested something else, let me know. I'm always curious to get your feedback.
So that's it. And before you take off, if you like this sort of content or also just DIY home repairs and improvements around the house, don't forget to subscribe to the channel as we have two videos or more coming out per week to help you around the house. And we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.